Hello everyone. This video related to a Symantec endpoint protection antivirus. Uh, now we're gonna see how to install SEPA, Symantec endpoint protection manager. So before you install the Symantec endpoint protection manager, you may need to consider few things. The first point, uh, the number of clients in your network. The second one, which database you want to use. Either the default Microsoft SQL Server Express database or Microsoft SQL Server and whether to set up a multiple site or single site and whether to set up a failover server so these things you have to consider and first step you have to download the latest version of Symantec software and license keys from Broadcom support portal uh, I have already uh, downloaded the setup file to install and I have, uh, and I have to extract this file now let me extract this may take few seconds, so let me see. Not more than two minutes. Yeah, it's done now. Now we can start install the Symantec Endpoint Production Manager. Uh, first step, you have to navigate the Sepam installation folder and double click the Symantec setup file. It's done. The first option should be install management server and console page. So let me start with this page. Once you click next, uh, you will get accept the license agreement option. So let's see. And we have to accept the license agreement. So before uh, you accept this license uh, agreement, you have to read all those instructions then we have to select the acceptance and give next so in this page uh, if, if you want you can change the installation path wherever you want to install you can change the path and the same page you will get installation pre-request the disk space should be uh, 4 GB CPU uh, 1 GHz RAM space should be 1 GB. As of now, uh, my CPU space is uh, 4 GB and physical memory is 8 GB. Free space is, uh, I mean, the target space is 40 GB. I have allocated. So click next. And ready to install the program. Start install. then we have to configure management console there will be a multiple option let me tell you now we are going to configure the management server Yeah, if, if less than 500 clients, uh, we can select a default configuration. If, if more than 500 clients, we can select custom configuration. As of now, I'm going to select a default configuration uh, since this is test environment. So let me select the default configuration itself and click next. So now we are going to create admin account uh, with username, password, mail id and so on. So let me create.
let me give test environment and username should be admin or you can change it yeah my password strength is very strong and we have to enter the mail id so uh, set up the email notification server for password reset if, if you forget your password something you have to uh, you will get the what is that password reset option from whatever you are mentioning this mail id It should be your uh, organization mail id only since this is test environment i'm using my personal mail id so click next i have to select send test mail uh, to validate the mail options These are all not required as of now since this is test environment. And click next. As I said earlier, uh, the Microsoft SQL Server Express database uh, installation of, uh, may not be able to continue because I have given uh, the default. Uh, configuration no it's less than 500 clients so i have to continue this so by default it's going to configure with the uh, microsoft sql server Usually this will take few minutes, not more than 15 minutes, let's see. getting done now So click to finish uh, to launch this FM console, I mean Symantec Endpoint Production Manager console. Some of the version you have to configure a live update as well. So uh, this is a new version, so it's from the database itself it will get configured. Yeah, I'm going to uh, launch this FM.
my password Yeah, it's done. So in my next video, we'll explain SEPM console overview. And this is the main page. And uh, thanks for watching my video, guys.